Hey guys, this is Gary from Peacekeeper's Armory. Here we have the latest build from the log. This is a Solus Holt V2 with a Pro V board and Neo Pixel setup. It's got a custom saber shot, 15 amp, a uh, 18650 battery, a uh, Railmaster premium speaker, basic goth three designs chassis, I think it's the Knight, and a uh, recharge port, Pro V board, and uh, just a little LED. So, um, this uh, this was weathered up by the uh, the cust actually the customer bought it weathered up already I think from Will um, it has a uh, vintage clamp came a little loose I was able to uh, adjust how it was bent and get a little better fitment in there um, I replaced the lever with a steel the uh, st stainless steel version from uh, Wana Wanga um, which made it a lot nicer um, in terms of its clamping capability. Um, so it really took what was super loose and made it nice and tight. And then obviously it's got the plunger in there down in the middle. And the um, Sloth Furnace clamp card. Uh, so I'll just kind of show you what it looks like. I had Robert Sotomayor make me a um, holder for the pogo pins from the Custom Saber Shop. So this is set just perfect so that the um, pins when they get pushed down, they're flush with the base, uh, this base on the sidewall. So it works out like perfect. Um, so it was a little tight. Uh, I didn't sand it, but with a little pressure fitting, I got everything in there. Definitely won't be able to get it out again if you need to, uh, without a lot of work. Um, so definitely make sure everything is working before you get to that point if you decide to make one. Um, don't ask me how I know. Um, so right here on the inside, again, it's just a basic goth chassis. Um, got the speaker right there. I put a LED right there just because I thought it looked good. And then a recharge port. Um, so yeah, nothing super flashy in there. Let me grab. So this is also sort of an instructional video. Um, obviously it's a twist kill key, so you just twist it and, or pull it out and then you can, uh, it'll activate the board. I'll have just enough room right here if you need to. Unfortunately, unless you have a really nice cable, um, you won't be able to uh, access it through the uh, traditional port and I didn't want to cut holes in there and make it look bad. So um, realistically, you shouldn't need to go in here very often if at all, but if you need to, uh, just use uh, you know, a screwdriver or something right there and then pull this out carefully. I have the, since this wasn't built for this board, um, just for a little extra precaution, I put a heat shrink around the entire board itself. Um, so if you need to, all you have to do is pop that out like that. You have access to the uh, USB port right there and then the, uh, the SD card itself. Um, Back here underneath some wires is the new uh, Fizicon Bluetooth module. So this is Bluetooth active. Um, I can't show you the features right now because I'm using my phone to record and um, I don't have another good recording device. Um, so I'll just have to send you an email or something, a message on how to do everything. And once Dimitri's app gets up and running, then this will be a nice, uh, Bluetooth friendly build ready to go. So I just gotta get this in there slowly and carefully. You don't wanna break any of the plastic pieces. And then you can align this pretty much however you want. I like it kind of in the middle. As much as possible anyways. Okay, so uh, just turn this guy on. I'm Luke Skywalker. So I just have it um, on as a power indicator, essentially, and then when you turn the uh, actual saber on, then it'll blink. Uh, if you want that changed, let me know. Um, it's an easy fix. Um, so it's going to have the uh, K-Sith um, suite on there, as well as a couple other fonts. Um, now, with the way the plunger works, um, obviously it's a plunger, so you push down on here and it activates the switch. With this off, don't swing around with this too much, because um, this will move and then get pushed up into the plunger. Um, 
I'm just doing it all the time, and of course now it's not going to. But okay, that's fine. I'm going the other way around. Just got good sound resonance from in here. Um, and you know, it, it just feels great. Young Ray. Uh, bottom side of the card is going to be activation, top side is going to be auxiliary. This is General Kenobi. The balance. Lord Vader. Kylo Ren. Vengeance. That's battery level indicator. Luke Skywalker. Um, I mean, I've already kind of showed all my blades quite a bit. Um, so this guy, I made a um, just a little one inch adapter because that's how this hilt was designed. So it's just got a normal pogo pin in, or um, blade side adapter plate in there with a one inch just long enough to uh, reach it. So. <clears throat> When you put this on, uh, obviously you're gonna put this in, put this guy on here and then thread it. Slowly thread it. Um, the pins are free floating as you can see, so you don't wanna tweak them too much. Um, so just slowly get there like that and then it'll be good to go. Get a nice NeoPixel blade. So yeah, that's um, Chris. This is your uh, completed saber. Um, this is a test blade, so I have to make one to your specifications. Um, so that'll take a little bit, but not not too much. I just have to get some supplies together. Um, and uh, and yeah, it, it's a great saber. I love it. This is what I was gonna do with mine. Um, now I'm just gonna wait for the uh, the next gen to come out. Uh, hopefully relatively shortly um i hope you enjoy this it certainly was a fun build and a lot of trial and error trying to figure out how i was going to do the uh, pogo pins but an uh, easy solution came to light thank you robert sotomayor for helping me out with that and um yeah so here is the latest completed saber on the block and i hope to see you guys on the next one